everyone. This is Anna uh, again. So this video will be um, me translating um, hieroglyphs on objects that are in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Um, and these objects can be um, found through their online collection database. So the objects that I'm going to use um, have translations on their uh, main page. So this is the first object that I'm going to start with. So it's a tablet from a foundation deposit, King Mentuhotep II. Um, so again, this is the object and this is the um, main page or its um, main page. So it has information about the object and um, image of the object. So these hieroglyphics is what we are going to be translating. And then if you go down here, um, it has the translation. So I'm going to um, copy and paste this. And um, this is the hieroglyphics that have been transcribed here. Um, so that is where the capital T comes in, capital A, um, and all of that. So now I'm going to go to the Zoom whiteboard. So I'm going to do um, a new share. Um, and then we're going to paste this text um, onto here. And now we're going to go to draw. So this MR um, dot Y is beloved. And then this MN capital T W, um, that is M N. And then whenever you see a capital T, that is an underlined T. Um, and then we have that W. Um, and then we have this capital R A W. So that capital R, that lowercase a is that ion that we've talked about before. So that C that's sort of hanging up in the air and then that W. And this two together is M N capital T or underlined T W is Matu. And then this Ra or capital R A W is Re. And then N B is Lord. And then we have this WASIT, so W capital A S dot T. So that WASIT, that capital A, is that ALF or vulture, so that number three sign, S dot T. Um, and that is Thebes. And then we have this Neswit, which is king. And then this bj.tj, that's, that's the phrase of Lower and Upper Egypt. And then we have this nb heptara, and that is neb, neb hepta re. So again, that nb Um, that I'm going to leave that capital H as capital H because in the transcription that capital H can be um, one of those four H's that I talked about in one of my last YouTube videos and without looking at the object I'm not sure which ones of those H's it is and then we have that capital A which is that all for Walter again and then that P not sure why it's not letting me do the dots but it's not um, dot T, and then that Ra, so again, that lowercase a is that I N W. Um, and so that all together is Neb Hepta Re, which is one of the names of Mentuhotep II. And then um, lastly, we have this A N X, so that A, that lowercase a is that I N, and, and then that X or that X is elliptical H. So one of those one through four H's and that is live or life. And then that underlined D T. 
So that capital D, which if it's the capital D, that means it's the underlined D and then dot T, which is the forever. So now we're going to go back to the um, tablet to see where, where those match up to the actual hieroglyphics. Um, so now we're in the actual tablet. So now we're going to go back up to the image and we're going to enlarge it. Um, and so this first part, I'm not fully sure of where the hieroglyphics fall, but this is the, um, go back just for a minute. So that first part is the beloved of, or that first part is, I think this, Matu Ray. Because this rm dot y pretty sure that is this here. So R or M R Y. So remember those two, what looks like branches. If there are two of them, then it's the unilateral Y, not um, not the unilateral J, which would be just one. Um, and then we have this next part, this Neb Wasset, which was that Lord of Thebes part. Um, and there is that NB Lord, so Lord. So I think this is the Thebes, so I think this is the Wasset, but I'm not 100% sure. But I know that when we get down to the second part of the inscription, um, this king of Lower and Upper Egypt, this is the Neswit BJ.TJ, which in the hieroglyphics matches this here. So this is the king and, and then of upper and lower Egypt. And then we have his, one of his names. So this Neb Hetep Ray, which is this Neb Hetep Ray, which is Mentu Hotep II. And we know that's a royal name. We know that's the royal name part that matches this because it's in the cartouche. And so we just have these last hieroglyphic symbols, which is the um, may he live forever. So this is that ankh, so, so that I-N-N -N elliptical H, so live or life. And then this is the uh, forever part. So this is, remember, the snake. And we know it's the snake. We know it's the D, not the F horn serpent, because there's no horns that are coming out. Um, and so this is in the transcription, the capital D, that when you write it out in, hier in hieroglyphics, it's the underlined D and then T. Um, so now we are going to move on to the next one. Or the next object, which is a scarab of Sobek Hotep the Fourth, so from the Middle Kingdom. Um, so again, this is the object with the hieroglyphic inscription here. Um, and then this is the translation. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did last time where we're going to copy and paste this. Um, and then we're going to do new share to go back to the whiteboard. Um, and we're going to clear the drawings that we've done so far. And we're going to do text first. 
And now I've copied and pasted it. And so now we're going to do draw. So that SA ray, so that S capital A, that capital A, remember, is that ALF or Walter. And then that RA or ray, that's R. And then remember that lowercase a is that ion. And so this SA is sun. There's an implied of here. And then this RA is ray, so, or ray or ra. So in this case, it's the god of the sun. And then we have this Sebek Hetep, which is his name. So again, that HTP, I'm gonna leave it as a capital H for right now. Um, because without looking at the object, I don't know which of those four H's it is. And then we have MS, which is the word born. And then we have N, which is of, and then this what, or MWT, which is um, mother, and then that NSW or Nesu, which is um, kings. And then we have this KMJ, which is the word chemi. So now we are going to go back to new share because we're going to go back to the actual object. So again, this is the object page. Um, and now we're going to enroll or enlarge the actual object so you can get a cl closer view. Uh, so this is the first register. So this is one register here on this side. And then this is the other register. So right away, you see this animal that looks like some sort of duck. It's facing this way. So you know, OK, you start to read this object from right to left, so over here. So this um, is the SA. So this is the um, S off. So or, or off. So this is the sun, the biological sun. There's the implied of here. And then this is that R, I, N, or Ra. And then we have that royal name. So we're just going to go back. So that Sabic Hotep. Again, we know it's the royal name because it's in the cartouche. So this here. And in this case, it is a dotted H T P. Um, and then we have this um, MS, which is kind of hard to see, but that's what this is. So this is the born part. And then that N of, um, and then we have uh, M wit. So we have that last part. King's mother, Kemi. So in this case, this is the King's, so the NSW part. This is the mother part. This is the KMJ or Kemi part. So this is the name. Okay, now we're going to go back to, or back to the next object. which is another scarab that is inscribed for Pharaoh I. So we're gonna click on that link. Again, this is the object and this is the translation. So we're gonna copy and paste it. And then we're gonna go back to new share because we're gonna go back to that whiteboard. First, we're gonna do text because we need to copy and paste that. And now we're gonna go to draw. So that N underlined, or N capital T R, you again see that capital T, you know it's that underlined T. So N T R, which is that God, and then that N F R 
is good. And then this mRNFR ra. So M R N R ra. Again, that cap, that lowercase a is that ion. And in this case, it's his name, Mern Nef Nefer Ra. So in this case, that Ra is not the sun god Ra, but it's part of his name. So now we're going to go back to new share because we're going to match that up again to the object and what the hieroglyphics are. Um, so this is the object. So this is the first register. So we start to read here. So this is the good God part. So this is that what looks like a flag. So that is that N underlined TR. So God, and then this is that Nefer or good. So the good God, and then this is that personal name. So this is that M, R, N, F, R, Ra, which is in the cartouche here. This is a relief block from a building of another royal pharaoh. Um, so in this case, I'm in Hem, or I'm in M hat the first. Um, so again, this is the object. So this was originally in one of um, his buildings um, from his, so from his mortuary temple. Um, and then it was later re, the block was later reused in the foundation of something else. So we're going to go to the translation. Um, and then we're going to copy and paste all of this. So now we're going to go back to the new share. So we can go back to the whiteboard. We're going to clear all the drawings. We're going to go with text. And now we're going to go back to draw. Um, so here we have this WHM um, MSW.T. So that's his name. And then we have this first part, um, which is this B um, capital HD dot TJ. Um, again, so I'm gonna actually just quickly go back. Because um, that will tell me. Okay, so this part, again, I don't know for sure which of these, which of the one through um, four H's this capital H is meant to be. So I'm gonna leave that for right now and I'm gonna go on to this part. So we have this D, capital D. So again, if you see capital D, um, that, could either mean it's just like, it's a regular D, but it's starting the sentence, um, or it's an underlined D. So I'm actually gonna go back just to double check. Okay, so 
it is the regular D because it's the hand. Um, so in this case, I'm not going to make it capital and it's just capital. I'm pretty sure because it's starting that sentence, but it's just um, uh, regular D. So we're going to do regular D and that J. I don't know why it's not letting me do dots, but um, that is a J. So there should be a dot there. Um, and then that there's there's a dot there, dot F. Um, and so that is um, the F is the pronoun he that D J is give. And then um, I think this B capital H D, I think that's the chorus of Edifu, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And then you have this lowercase a and x. So again, that lowercase a is the ion, that n, and then that x is actually the elliptical h, and that is um, live or life. Um, and this is the first time that I'm doing it. So we're going to actually repaste those. And now we're just going back to the whiteboard. Back to draw. So again, we have that um, XN, I think that's elliptical H. Um, and then this TJ. Um, dot p r or, or dash dot p r um, dash z and I'm going to leave that d for right now and then that um, a or off. So I think the p r that might be the birth house, but I'm just not sure. Um, and then we have this again, capital D, um, regular D or lowercase d. So in this case, pretty sure that capital D is the underlined D, which is the words. Um, and then I think that's words, but it might be spoken. Um, but it's but it's this last phrase here. So now we're going to go back. And so this is how it is chunked up. Or actually, we're going to do it this way. This is how it's chunked up. Um, so this, we're going to put this in slideshow, actually. Um, so this is um, 
A. Um, so the W capital H um, M Wasset is here. Um, and then we have the inscription Um, the inscription above the falcon headed god, which is this here is B. Um, and so this is that B H. Uh, B H D T. So I'm pretty sure this is the Horus of Edifu part here, um, but I could be wrong about that. And then you have the um, D J dot F, which is this. So this is the um, may he may he give. And then we have that um, ion and elliptical H, so that Ankh, which is life. And then we have the part that I've labeled C, which is here, and that's the last chunk. Um, so this is, I'm pretty sure that this is this first XN, which I think is elliptical H dot T J. Um, and then this is this PR. So this is house that might be that ZA part, because then this is that underlined G dot T. And then this is the um, M D W, I think is here. So this is the word spoken because then this is basically that, that last chunk here of the S M N. So S M N. So I should have put the red mark here. So S M N dot N um, J B dot W. Um, so this is this, I have established a purification booth part. And again, I don't know, or I don't know enough about hieroglyphics to tell you which words, um, which which hieroglyphic words match each of these words? Okay. Great. All right. So now we're going to this next object, which is a steel A. So this is a stele from the Middle Kingdom. So again, this is the translation. Um, and I just, if there's any more, yeah. Um, so this is the next object that we're going to go towards, or to. Um, so this is a relief with the head of a female personification um, of a royal estate um, in this case. So this is the object, and this is the translation. So this one is a little bit um, easier because it's, it's not quite as long. So again, we're going to go to new share because we're going to go back to the whiteboard. I'm going to clear all drawings. I'm going to do the text first, and then we're going to draw. Um, so here we have again that nefer, which is perfect. 
Um, and then we have this XWFW, which is Khufu. Um, so I'm gonna go back to new share just to fully see which X that is. So um, here we have the um, N, F, R, W. So this is the perfect, and then this is the Khufu part. Next object that we are going to is another stele. So this is the stele of um, Sai Moon um, and Tai and Taru. Again, I think my pronunci my pronunciation is probably a little bit off, so I apologize for that. Um, but this is again the translation of the object. So we're going to do the same thing. It and then do new share so that we can go to the whiteboard. So, first we're going to do this. Okay, so in the first one, we have this men kep wa ra, which is men kep er. Ra, which is one of the names of Tutmos the fourth. So again, if we take that out of the transcription, it's MN. Um, I'm gonna leave that X like it is for right now, because I'm gonna have to look at the object just to make sure that that's still the right transcription. Um, and then we have that lowercase r, or lowercase um, a, Ion. Uh, so again, um, we have a case where Ra is where that Ra is functioning not as the god Ra, but as part of a name. Um, and that is something that we've seen in other examples as well. So I'm just going to, yeah, so it's elliptical H. Okay, so now. So again, this is, and then we have above the god, we have J and P W. So this matches Anubis. Uh, and then that NB matches Lord. And then that T, capital A. So remember, if we see that capital A, that is the vulture or elf, which is what looks like our number three. Um, and that is land. And then that. D, that capital D, S, R. It's that underlined D, S, R, which is sacred. And then we have this last chunk here, which is above the two mortal people that this DLA is dedicated to. We have this R, capital D, so it's R underlined D. Dot J, really don't understand why it's not letting me put the dots there because it definitely makes things easier. Um, and that is either giving or praise. Um, and then that J again. Off W. Pretty sure that's Anubis because the N is two. And then that JN is by. And then we again see this Wob, Wob, which is that Wob 
priest title that we saw in the other videos. And again, um, it's not this. So when you transcribe it, it's that. Um, and then we have in parentheses this um, za j m n that za is s alf j m n which is his name so sa moon um, and then we have um, s n dot t dot f so um, this the again f is the pronoun his the sn is sister the mr dot t is beloved and then finally we have her name so we have the sister's name of tauri here so again that t capital a really t alf R W J. So now we're going to go back to the main object. Um, and you'll see, actually, we're going to go back to the PowerPoint because I've already chunked it up um, in that PowerPoint. So we're going to put it in presenter mode. So um, this was the cartouche. So this is the men capu ray cartouche. Um, and then we have above the um, god, which is uh, Nubis. So that's the god that they're talking about. Um, I've then labeled um, those in alphabetical order as well. Um, so this is this J and P um, dot w uh, dot nb um so this i'm pretty sure is um and this is a uh, nubis and then we have that um nb so a nubis lord applied of and then we have this T alf, which is that land. So here I'm pretty sure, and it might be this whole thing. So I might've put like that red dividing line might not need to be there. Um, and then that underlined uh, or that capital D um, SR, which is the underlined D, which is sacred, which is this. So now we go to this register and this is, um, above uh, the uh, above the two mortal pe people. So um, Set Moon and Tar or Tar reads that this stila is dedicated to. Um, so this is now let's go up there. Um, so this is now um, our DJ. So yeah, I didn't need to put that red line there because this is one hieroglyphic word. Um, and then this is that J um, alf. Uh, so this is the giving praise part. And then I, I'm not fully sure if this is the N or this is the N up here. Um, but either way, it's that two part. Um, and then we have uh, the W A B. So this is the Wab priest. Um, and then this part, I'm not fully sure where it falls. Um, but then you go on to this register and this is now when we get to 
the um, S N dot T dot F. So this is again that F horn serpent. So you can just see those horns poking out. So this is the his um, sister. And I think the beloved is here too. Because then this is um, M. I think this is the MR. Because I think this is the MRT dot F, and then this is her last name, I think. Okay, so the next object that we're going to do is a donation stele. So this is a royal object from the third intermediate period. And this is the one that I think we're going to end on. Um, so again, this is the object, and then this is the hieroglyphic um, inscription translations. Um, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy and paste, going onto the new share. So we can go back to the whiteboard, clear the drawings that we have, um, do the text so we can paste them. Uh, and now go to draw. Um, so the HR, I think that's the underlined H, which is the Horus or um, the Herm Artai, which is a form of the god Horus. So it's actually this whole thing. Um, and this is Lord, um, and then this actually S D N. I'm not sure of. I'm like, I'm not sure where that SDN dot W falls. Um, so I'm actually going to stop here.